Hello, I'm Hank Levy, Treasurer Tax Collector of Alameda County. I am here to talk to landlords who are going through economic hardship due to the shelter in place and anti eviction orders in Alameda County. While we want everyone who can afford to pay their property taxes for this coming 2021 tax year, we are aware that many of you have tenants who have not been able to pay their rent for a number of months. Neither our office nor the Board of Supervisors has the power to defer property tax deadlines. The delinquency deadlines for this year's taxes remain, as they always have, as December 10th, 2020 for the first installment and April 10th, 2021 for the second installment. However, as we did for the 2019-2020 second installment, and which we shall do again for the coming year's taxes, we have the ability to waive the penalties and interest for late payment due to COVID-19 related hardships. In April of this year, our office published a policy statement, which we put up on our website. As you can see in this policy, the failure cannot be due to willful neglect and must be caused by circumstances beyond the taxpayer's control. COVID qualifies as an event beyond the control of the taxpayer. Our policy had been in place for about three weeks when on May 6th, Governor Gavin Newsom issued Executive Order N6120. In his order, the governor did two important things. Number one, he defined as eligible real property to be owned and operated as a small business under the Small Business Administration's regulations. And number two, he mandated that assuming all conditions are met, that the tax collector shall cancel penalties, interest, and costs through May 5th, 2021. The law cited by the governor, Code of Regulations, Title 13, Section 121.201, defines the definition of small rental businesses, as we're showing you here in the video. Alameda County has also adopted further rules mandated by the SBA loan programs. One, the taxpayer applying for a waiver must have less than 500 employees, and two, the rental properties must be operated by owners who are active in the management of those properties. Under this criteria, a large business, therefore, which owns and operates real property would not qualify. In addition, a typical developer would also not qualify and would not be eligible for a waiver. However, in general, any other landlord who can show that their reduction of gross rental income was due to COVID-19 related reasons and otherwise qualifies, would be eligible. On our website, we ask all taxpayers who are claiming an economic hardship under COVID to fill out a claim for cancellation of delinquent penalty. Currently, we have two ways to apply for a waiver. One is an electronic method through DocuSign. The other is a manual method. As you can see in this video, this is the form we are currently asking taxpayers to fill out. A landlord would check the fourth box. Our current policy requires a landlord to represent that he or she has suffered a COVID-19 related loss of rental income and to demonstrate it with as many of the following documents as possible. One, monthly financial statements. Two, reports showing rent rolls. Three, delinquency reports. Four, application for forbearance, either by you or by the lender. Five, evidence of forgiveness of rent or forgiveness of rental increase. These documents can either be uploaded through the DocuSign electronic process or simply mailed in if using the manual method. Because we are expecting many more claims during this coming year, we are working on a more automated process for landlords. We hope to have an announcement about this soon. For more information on this topic or any other topics, do not hesitate to reach out to our office either by email at ttaxpublicmail at acgov.org or by phone 510-272-6800. Do not forget to look at our website at treasurer.acgov.org for announcements about the coming tax season. All the documents that we have referred to today will be available on our website. Please sign up on our various Treasurer Tax Collector listserv so that you will always receive the latest information. Thank you very much.